This video is called Multifamilies Are the Best Real Estate Investments. So I get asked this question a lot. I wanna buy some rental property, what should I buy? And a lot of newer investors, would-be investors, wanna buy a single family property because they understand it, they can visualize who would be moving in there. I don't really know, but the point is, is they think they wanna buy a single family property. Um, and a lot of times I have to talk them out of it. And, and these are my reasons. There's really two reasons why, two reasons why a apartment building or at least a fourplex, a multi-unit is gonna be a better investment for you on a long-term than a single family property. The two reasons are economy of scale and the values based on NOI. Okay, so let's talk about economies of scale real quick. So uh, this is a concept in microeconomics. I'm gonna read you this definition. Okay, economies of scale are the cost advantages that enterprises obtain due to the scale of their operation with cost per unit of output decreasing with increasing scale. At the basis of economies of scale, there may be technical, statistical, organizational, or related factors to the degree of market control. In other words, okay, in real estate, economy of scales mean that the numbers work better. Okay, the numbers are gonna work better. Let's use an example. Let's take an eight unit uh, versus a single family. Eight unit property, each unit rents for $1,200 a month. That's a potential income of $9,600 a month, $9,600. If one unit is vacant in that eight unit property, you still get $8,400, okay? Compare that to the single family, one, one unit, it comes in, you know, your rent is $2,500 a month, your potential income is $2,500 a month, one unit is vacant, means you are completely vacant, you make zero dollars. Let that sink in, that's important, okay? Because your mortgage is still due every month, regardless if someone is living there or not. Another example would be property management, okay? Including property management in there. So it's, uh, at a eight unit, we're gonna charge 7% property management fee, okay? That's industry standard, give or take. And then for a single family, we're gonna be at 75% mm, lease up fee plus probably 8% per month because it's almost just as much work for a property management company to manage a single family as it is to manage eight units, okay? But they need to make up the money somewhere, so they gotta charge more for a single family property just as much as they charge for an eight unit, even though you're making way more money on the eight unit. So there's a lot of examples of this and I'll link to them in the, in the article below of the various economies of scale of having an eight unit versus a one unit. Okay, another good example is a roof. <laughs> one roof, eight units. One roof, one unit. The roof costs give or take the same amount. So there's a lot of examples of this. All right, now let's get into the second reason which is your value is based off the NOI, the net operating income, okay, on a, in a multifamily. Take a multifamily property at eight unit, everybody's evaluating it the same way. Okay, they're gonna take the, the gross income minus the expenses, vacancy loss, et cetera, divide by the cap rate, and that's the value of the property. To compete with other buyers for that property, they're evaluating it the exact same way you are. Versus if you're looking at a single family property, you're competing with other buyers out here that are not valuing that property based off its investment potential. They're valuing it off of how, how much they like the kitchen, where the skylights are, the layout. They're imagining raising a family there. These are not factors that we can value, right? So they might overvalue the property and overpay for it because those things are worth more to them than it is to you as a investor. So you can't compete with a retail buyer on a single family property and think you're gonna get a good deal. They're not looking at the long-term financial implications we are because we're investors. So going after properties that make sense as an investment is just an easier way to go about it. So those are my two reasons uh, to go for multifamily. If you wanna talk more about it, schedule a time with me. My calendar is linked below.